might have some call in folks as well, but uh, again, we're going to record it and uh, we'll share it with others as uh, uh, we get additional interest. Um, uh, today, I am happy to announce that uh, we're releasing a new and justice for all video. And this issue uh, is really important and very timely. The topic for this video that we're releasing today. The question is that I hear a lot. Why are there nine seats on the US Supreme Court? Has there always been nine? Uh, who gets to decide the number of Supreme Court justices? Why this is really important these days, it's because of the filling of the seat uh, vacated from the passing of uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, Justice Ginsburg. But it's also become an issue in the race for president here in 2020. So this is a short three minute video. And we're gonna show you that video here in just a minute. Uh, about answering those important questions and because it is so timely in this uh, filling of a vacancy and the election. Uh, what this video outlines is uh, to the first question, that the Supreme Court itself does not get to decide how many seats are on the Supreme Court. And the number of seats are defined uh, actually by Congress. Our Constitution delegates the, the authority of deciding how many seats are on the Supreme Court in Congress. Uh, there are currently nine seats, as we know now. But what a lot of folks are not aware is that it's not always been nine. As a matter of fact, the number of seats on the U.S. Supreme Court has changed seven times uh, and has ranged from a low of five seats to as many as 10 seats. Uh, this video uh, mentions a little bit of the historic perspective of those changes. What's particularly interesting is that uh, in uh, 1789, uh, the first Judiciary Act was signed into law by President George Washington, and it set the number of seats on the U.S. Supreme Court initially at six. So when our country first started, uh, our Constitution in place, the first Judiciary Act uh, uh, enacted by Congress, uh, set the number at six. And over about a 100 year period after 1789, as I said, the number changed seven times from a low of five to a high of 10. Now, the reasons that the Supreme Court number changed, why Congress made that change, really falls into one of two categories. The first category is really out of necessity. Uh, the fact that during that period of 100 years following the establishment of our country, the country grew to the West. And as the population grew, as more states joined the Union and more circuit courts, federal circuit courts were added in the West, uh, because the Supreme Court justices actually did what was called circuit riding and actually sat on cases in the circuits, the number of justices grew. Uh, but the other reason why the Congress changed the number of seats, candidly, was politics. Uh, it was either an administration of a president or Congress uh, trying to dictate policy by the number of people serving on the court, which of course would address who would serve on the court. So over about a hundred year period from the founding of our country, uh, we saw for two reasons, necessity, geography, population growth, and secondly, politics, where there was an effort to kind of control uh, the decision-making process in uh, uh, the United States Supreme Court. What's interesting is that the last time the number changed, which is currently, of course, nine, the last time the number of changed was back in, um, let's see, it was... Uh, 1869. In 1869, Ulysses S. Grant was president at the time, and the number was set at nine. A uh, bill had run through Congress, uh, setting the number of nine justices. And since then, since 1869, the number has not changed 
over the last 150 years of our country. So seven times changed in the first 100 years and no changes in the last 150 years. Although there was certainly an attempt during the New Deal era by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt, who was unhappy with the Supreme Court at that time for striking down some of his New Deal legislation, that he crafted a plan. It was floated in Congress, voted down in the U.S. Senate, so it never became law, to actually add the potential of six justices to the nine that were on the Supreme Court at the time. And that could uh, potentially take the number of justices up to 15. But again, uh, that occurred in the 1930s and uh, did not actually become law. So uh, with that said, uh, Alex, if you would not mind, let's uh, show uh, again, it's a short three minute video on injustice for all. Uh, Alex, I'm not sure if it's uh, showing it's. Alex, it's not working. The video is not working. Okay, let me just try to reload it again. It's working for me. It, yeah, it worked yesterday when we tested it. Okay. In a prior video, I discussed. Is it showing now? West Virginia. We have five justices on our state Supreme Court, but on the U.S. Supreme Court, there are nine. You might wonder if the U.S. Supreme Court has always had nine justices, and the answer is no. The Supreme Court has had as few as five. Alex, it's it's working, but it's still not working right. It's over 240 years. It's glitching. The number of justices hey, Alex, why don't you just... Uh, 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 let's go ahead and stop it. And uh, uh, David uh, or any others, you can you can visit our website at courtswv.gov. Uh, 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 and on the bottom of our homepage, we have a YouTube uh, uh, link. And uh, Alex, you can nod yes or no. Is it already posted on our U uh, YouTube? Uh, yes. Okay, terrific. Well, uh, David, you can go there and take a look at it uh, without glitch and with audio. So uh, uh, sorry about the technical difficulties on our end. Just a quick word about the uh, Injustice for All series. We started it on uh, June 1st, so we've been at it for about uh, three or four months, and we have 17 different videos posted. Uh, importantly, these are done uh, all in-house. We don't expend any taxpayer dollars to produce these or host these. Uh, I appreciate Alex and Jennifer and April for their efforts. And uh, so uh, no taxpayer dollars to do these. And the idea is about public education. Uh, it's about informing the public on a number of topics about our court system the Supreme Court here in Charleston, uh, and the important role of uh, the judiciary in our system of government. So with that, David, uh, I'm happy to answer any questions you might have, and I appreciate you joining us. Uh, I'm actually pretty good. I took down all the notes of what you said. Uh, I'll go and watch the video too, and uh, I appreciate this because I wondered I I had no sense of the history of the, the U.S. Supreme Court and how many had come and gone. I've always wondered how long there were nine. So this is nice. 
Sounds great. Well, hold down uh, Morgantown for us and I appreciate you joining us and uh, uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you've got any questions. Will do, thanks. And I'll make sure everyone here behaves. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you, folks. All right. Bye-bye. All, right. all right. Jennifer, uh, April, Alex, thank you all. Thanks.